Hello chickadees, my name is Rachel and welcome to Alone in the Dark. You are a connoisseur of some sort, a butler per se, I don't know, you're a person that likes melons, I saw this in the description, and you have an affinity, an affection, a very infatuation with watermelons. I liked, the, the game itself sounded really interesting and something I might just try to just they get call myself me into. Malone. You probably would say that this is just a name. I like to see it as a title, a medal, given by the universe. <laughs> ah, yes, I am the greatest living melon devotee. My collection of melon-related furniture, apparel, <laughs> paintings is breathtaking. <laughs> ah, it's time for my favorite midnight snack, a bowl of sliced melons. Luckily, a big ripe melon is waiting for me in the kitchen. I bought it this morning at the farmer's market. It was a strange exchange. The crazy old coot behind the stall didn't take my money. Instead, he said, Know your fruit, know its name, for if you don't, the demons your soul will claim. Tired to laugh. Melons love me, and one lucky yeah, fruit is yeah, waiting for you. me on the kitchen counter. This game. It was like on the top feet of itch.io. Use the arrows keys. And it, the game jam for this. I saw the game jam. I'm like, well, this is kind of interesting. And it's like a horror game. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was like, I I'm not going to just judge it though. Let me actually just play and see how it's going. Well, I'm just going to spin in a circle. Can't you move? Are you stuck? I can't get out. Sir, can you get out? Mr. Malone? Was that your name? I can't. Oh, okay. I understand how to walk around now. See, well, press space. <laughs> this painting is called Thankful Eyes. I thought he'd be reading that. That is a very interesting picture of a baby watermelon. Ah, uh, my first fruit, little seedling. I grew him up on myself before I cut him up for as a salad, fruit salad, with the other amongst the babies of seedling watermelons that I have killed. Gosh, that is horrible. I don't even know if it's supposed to be scary. I get it was Game Jam Malone thing with horror and other things, but I'm digging this really funky art style and game thingy. Wait, hold on. Let me just go back, though. I thought I saw something else. Yeah, what's in the corner right there? Is that a trophy? Is that a watermelon trophy for going? No, what is that? Huh. My own melon plant. It doesn't grow for some reason. Yeah, it needs to grow outside, not indoors. I mean, yeah, and it needs to have a deep enough soil in there. So you're a terrible gardener for, like, you growing that one plant in here. I mean, maybe he's, no, that's not even a nursery. You're putting it against the wall. You're a terrible gardener. See, this is why his seedling had to die so young in the picture you see right there. See, he was so young, and then you had to eat, you had to eat him. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm probably going to go through that door, but what's over here? I'm kind of going out of frame. I Can you stick to it? Stick to it? Yeah. What's over here? Oh, that's an interesting picture, too. I'm just going to... I'm going to view all my paintings and all my pictures that I see onto the wall. Ah. I drew this. Wow. And you framed it yourself. You must be so proud of yourself. Is this... Can I interact with the door? Looks like I can actually open it. Ah. Oh, look at all of my arrayed assortment of books. Probably about, like, how to eat a watermelon, how to seed a watermelon. See, like, all these over here. Well, I, you know what? Your problem is, none of these show how to grow a watermelon. Probably go for shits for that. You're probably doing a terrible job. Oh, this is actually the kitchen. Where he said he was going to actually have a bowl of melons. Uh. It's not a melon, though. Where am I? Uh, sir? I don't even know where the fuck I am. Um, wh <laughs> where am I? Did I break the game? <laughs> I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I'm just gonna stare at this really nice wallpaper though that you just, I just noticed. It's filled with watermelon. And you went with my nice green rind and my red shirt. I probably would look very delicious to you. No, I don't, please don't, don't eat me. I have no fucking clue where I am. Did I break the game? Let me out! I'm in the kitchen! 
kitchen with this watermelon in here. I don't know where to go. <laughs> well, maybe I'm not supposed to actually be in here though. He said he was gonna have a full, a full fruit. I can hear him. Oh! Now you come back to me. Up here! Up here did the watermelon. Watermelon. I keep saying watermelon because it says watermelon on here. Watermelon rise from the surface of the site. Here you are. Boo! I see you. No, I see you too. Okay, I'm just gonna briskly walk over towards you and do whatever this guy does with watermelons. Ah, what a marvelous melon. It's not a melon! Ah, <laughs> uh, what is happening? I have no fucking clue. What? I guess this is the part of where I was supposed to fight myself off, I guess. What is going on? Yeah, I am. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go this way. My head hurts. Oh, why does it though? Tell me, oh, sir, great one. I'm not feeling so good. What did I just do? I thought I could interact with the watermelon. I just started kicking it. Everything goes black. And I'll just... Fuck it! Fuck the watermelons! Oh, you fucking really good. I feel tired. Wow, this is a, if this is a dream, then please wake me up. Just, just friggin' don't touch this guy. He's got a nice touch, and he doesn't know, he don't need no watermelon for his love. He just wants a nice salad. Alright, I mean, he just murdered an entire, this entire watermelon enemies that I guess were about to kill him. And he's cool with it. What is this game? I am so confused and actually really interested in knowing what's going on. In a weird way. Can I open it? Uh, yes, the vines of the watermelons actually let me go. And I can go and sit down Holy on the moly. table. What? Hello, Walter. Who are you? Yeah, I am the supreme watermelon. Oh, you finally came. You must have heard oh. of my collection of. <laughs> yeah, so uh, listen, thing. we have to talk. Just so you know, I rarely come down to this planet. I basically never talk to people, but <clears throat> yeah, you and I, we need I can't move. to talk. Oh, okay. What's it? Oh, Mighty Melon. Yeah, it's exactly this. You gotta stop calling us melons. What he, do you he mean? He understands! You are melons. No, they are! Yeah, we are watermelons. Yeah. We are no honeydew, no horned melons. We are no cantaloupe. <laughs> we are watermelons. <laughs> What's oh, going right. on? Okay. Yeah, so this probably sounds oh, like a small thing to it? you, but it is really important to us. You really say melons all the time. Have you, haven't you noticed? Oh, okay. Watermelons. Nice. Yeah, thanks for being professional. No problem. Yes, and don't get me wrong. Like, the setup you're having here, it's really nice. Like, got those cool paintings, wallpaper, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, Walter, I gotta go. Gotta go back to Watermelon Planet. It really exists. Good. Goodbye. Goodbye, Walter. Why? Sure thing. Bye. Nah, damn melons. <laughs> His little jig at the end. What was that? Why is that it? No! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The little jig that he did at the end. Oh my gosh, they killed me. Nah, they're melons. They're watermelons, you stupid Gah. Some textures are by random. <laughs> Is it really that short? Thanks and hugs to Oh man. It was made by two people who are a melon game jam. This game was made in two weeks. Oh man. Oh, I wish it was a lot longer though. Thank you for playing, it means a lot to us. Thank you for sharing the game for other people to play this silly little cool little game that you guys actually made. This is super impressive, and I mean, <clears throat> some people can debate on the art style and the style of choice that they chose for the game graphics and everything, but it actually matches in a way. They actually did a really good job. I wonder about, does it show in here? This small game is made for the Melon Game Jam by Nick and Mahu. It also, it is also a love letter to the 1992 game Alone in the Dark. With the two, which the two played as kindergarten kids, it still haunts their dreams today. Oh, I think I've heard about Alone in the Dark. I can't remember what it's about, but 
I'm alone in the dark, alone in the dark. So I don't know if it, there's probably a lot of um, similarities to both of those, except minus the melon, watermelon part, but I mean, that's really good. Not a lot of interactivity, it was just with you walking like in a weirdly weird fashion and trying to get to the kitchen, but like, that, that's actually really good. And it did actually have like somewhat of a spooky atmosphere so I don't know if it was originally, again, a, a, like an original horror tag or if it was actually a different type of tag other than just a watermelon game jam thing. Like if there were other types of subjects that were kind of included into that game. But I guess if that's really the end of the Malone in the Dark, then yeah, that is the end of the game. For anyone who has a, water, a watermelon, you remember it is a watermelon or the Watermelon King, well I guess, We'll come down, some about a, a bunch of watermelons around you. Well, you have to quarry karate chopping out of the, your kitchen. Excuse me. And then he'll probably come up to you and have to have a, a discussion with you. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a punch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And be like,